For the end of the year, the city of Columbus passed legislation banning the sale of flavored tobacco within city limits. And because of DeWine's veto, the sale of those products will be prohibited starting January 1st, 2024. NBC4's Caleb Michael spoke with one local business owner today about the impact the ban will have on their business. Caleb. Yeah, Jared, right now I'm in Epic Puff in Clintonville. Over here, you'll see all these flavored tobacco products. And when this ban goes into effect, these will all become illegal to sell. It's a big blow to the business and for so many others just like it. Local vape shops are hesitant to talk about it. Um, unfortunately, I've been uh, told to actually decline. Of the 18 vape shops I reached out to today, only one owner agreed to speak with me on camera. He was visibly upset. The ban on the flavored tobacco is a big deal. It will, it, it will ruin us. We will, we're basically, we, there's no way we can stay in business. Hassan Sharif is one of the owners of Epic Puff in Clintonville. He says this ban is pointless. Instead of people going down the street to buy their, what they want to, they now have to go outside the city border to buy it and come back. They didn't accomplish anything. A point brought up by many against the ban. I asked Mayor Ginther his response to that. I think you're going to see other communities throughout Central Ohio coming together to stand up to take on this issue because they need to protect kids. Uh, and Big Tobacco's days of targeting kids, particularly black and brown kids, are coming to an end here. Part of why he applauds the governor's veto today. Uh, we believe local knows best. But for business owners like Sharif, there's a lot at stake. Losing 200 or more thousand dollars, that's pretty devastating. It is, it is, but uh, when uh, you're, I, I've been in business a long time and, you know, it's just one of those setbacks that you just got to brush off and move on. Just not too far. We will go right next door to Columbus. We will be right across the street from the border of Columbus and we will have everything they, you know, they want to buy. Many of the businesses I spoke to today said they are upset, still trying to process all that has happened so far, and if this really is the end of their business. Local for you in Clintonville, I'm Caleb Michael, NBC4.